In this video, I'm going to show you how to test for subgroups of A, and to do this, you're going to use A1 uh, lectin, and um, A1 lectin will agglutinate A1 red blood cells. You're going to need A2 cells for your negative control and A1 cells for a positive control, and normally you'd be testing a specimen as well. I don't have one, so I'm just going to be doing the controls. Now, you would use this method uh, to resolve ABO discrepancies. So if you had a patient that typed A positive or A negative on the forward, but the reverse um, was coming up weakly positive for the uh, A1 cells and maybe a 4 plus for the um, B cells, you could do this to see if possibly they are a subgroup. Um, so you need to go ahead and label your tubes, then add one drop of A1 and A2 cells to the corresponding tubes, and then follow that up with a drop of A1 lectin. Um, after you add the A1 lectin, you would just go ahead and mix the specimen and pop them in the centrifuge for about 20 seconds and spin them down. Now, like I was saying, A1 lectin will agglutinate A1 red blood cells. So the positive control is just the A1 cells, and as you can see, that's a 4 plus reaction. And then for the uh, A2 cells, you would expect to see a negative. Now, if the patient was a subgroup, you would expect them to be a negative uh, while using A1 lectin as well. And um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, there's about, I think, 20% of the population is a subgroup or is A2 maybe, um, type A. Thank you.